Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. I just got two copyright strikes from the middle of nowhere, I commit to not mention the name, I don't want this problem to get big. The point is, this channel is in danger, maybe it will gone soon. Therefore, I urge you guys to subscribe my backup channel, please check the description box below. The videos that are subject to copyright claims are videos about Tartarians, so just in case, for the meantime I remove all of the related videos about that topic. I really regret this incident happened, because I got the content from public domain book, and I don't violate anyone's copyright. I hope you guys subscribe my backup channel, so we can stay connected every day. Anyway, let's continue our discussion about Tartarians. If you don't know anything about this, I recommend you to watch the previous video on this topic. There's a playlist waiting for you to watch. Please check the description box to find out more. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Yadahuacan, an ancient city from Aztec Empire that resembles a circuit board when viewed from above. The Dragon and Tiger Pagoda's Temple, located at Lotus Lake in Taiwan, 1860. There are many of these type of structures across Asia, with what appears be cathodes on top. Earth is a giant electromagnetic grid which can be harnessed for energy. This is the monument for Malaysian Airlines Flight 17, which was a scheduled passenger flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, that was shot down on July 17, 2014, while flying over eastern Ukraine. Behind every evil, we find the same groups pulling all the strings. The Flower of Life. The ancient symbol found all over the world. There are nine known Flower of Life reliefs on the large granite columns at the Assyrian in Abydos, these reliefs are precision etched, and it is not clear exactly how they were made. Imagine how wonderful this whole temple used to look back in the day. Many of Leonardo da Vinci's personal notebook pages are covered in Flower of Life imagery, along with its many variations. Edwardian, London, 1906. Look at all those antennas for harnessing the energy. We must learn the art of frequency in order to understand how and why the old architects did what they did. The old builders were masters of frequency vibrations. Peak of the Tartarian architecture. Pantheon Paris. The Ship Inn Hotel, Sydney, New South Wales, is said to have been built in 1835. However, in 1937, they took the top off, removing all of its old world tech and charm. It still stands today looking bland and lackluster. Imgad Algeria. Ruins of an ancient Aryan Vedic civilization. Same principles we see in Tartaria a couple of millenniums after. Notice the huge magnetron in the middle of the city. It served as one giant power grid to supply and distribute the electricity to every building. The Great Wall of China was actually made by the Tartarians, and not the China as the mainstream history wants us to believe. At that time, people of yellow races rebelled against the rolling caste of white race. Everything white people have taught the tribes of yellow races, they have used against their teachers, trying not only to physically destroy their benefactors, but to remove all remembrance of them. This war between China and Tartaria lasted 3,000 years, which resulted in China finally solving their problem with the native Tartarian tribes on its own territory. Atmospheric ether generator caught on camera. Most likely it was activated by accident due to having the inner electrical tech removed already. However, this was how the ancient world was powered for eons. Electrical power was known by all civilizations in the past, they used the natural laws to harness it, which nature is providing in unlimited quantities. Mainstream science is only steering our civilization further into the consumerism, while destroying the Mother Earth in the process. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. 
And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Inside the Vatican, with many ancient Vedic symbolism. Parasites do not know how to create. They only know how to hijack and steal, from a much more advanced civilization, as they did throughout the history. Was it the former capital of Tartaria? Quite possibly. Tartaria already covered with electrical fixtures in the 19th century when electrical lighting was only being invented for the first time. Electricity was not common in houses until 1925. Nikola Tesla was into the incredible secrets of flight and anti-gravity. In 1928, he patented a flying machine similar to a helicopter and airplane, however it was able to horizontal lift from the ground up. This machine could fly without wings, propellers, or gas bags. He called it space drive, or the anti-electromagnetic field propulsion system. Later, his patent was further researched and developed by the Germans during World War II. Spires are extremely common in old world buildings, and always include a conductive ornament of some kind on top. Apparently, there used to be an object in these, but they were removed. However, some old photographs show these objects still in at the time. Looks like it has to do with harnessing or storing atmospheric energy. The fact that these are almost always present on old buildings, implies it is for functionality rather than aesthetics. Electric Bus, London 1906. Electric vehicles have been around for much longer than most people realize. There are many free energy sources that work in harmony with the nature, however they are hidden from the public and erased from history. Nikola Tesla's largest donor or funder was one of the three wealthy men who died on the Titanic and opposed the Federal Reserve Act being enforced by Senator Aldrich, setting the stage for J.P. Morgan to kick Nikola Tesla off his land due to late payments and tear down his Wardenclyffe Tower designed for wireless power transmission that would have stopped the very same central bankers in their tracks from amassing control over our energy grid and charging us for energy consumption. No coincidences. A human eye can only see between 430 to 770 terahertz. Our ears can only detect sound between 20 hertz 20 kilohertz. These ranges make up a fraction of the total sound and light frequency range. This means, there is a lot going on around us that we cannot see, or hear. Here is the Canadian dollar, and if you look at the Queen's hair, you will see Baphomet the demon. Once again, these people that control this world believe in Lucifer and worship the dark fallen spirits. Ancient shoes and footwear, some are allegedly older than 2000 years and actually had magnetic plates incorporated into their souls. The purpose of this was to keep in touch with the earth and its magnetic field, aka to stay grounded. For comparison in today's time, we walk on rubber soles and concrete floors, which prevents us from earthing. While you are listening to this beautiful sound, I want you to take a moment and be grateful that we are living in these exciting times and that God has allowed you to see what is unfolding. We are not alone. Cloud of Witnesses watches you. God is in control. Forces of light on earth shall overcome the forces of darkness. Complete spiritual enlightenment on earth will occur. Ask yourself, why you? Why now? I think about this daily, and it shoots my faith and confidence sky high. You've been chosen. Make no mistake. Much love to all of you. Zach. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.